morning guys um, this video is coming from um, one of the jobs that we delivered all the equipment to down in beautiful Plymouth of all places um, so we came down today dropped some fish off somewhere else and we dropped some fish off here as well but this is the one that we've done and um, that we dropped the gear off last August and the owner um, has been working on it all himself he's built it start to finish just him just him on his own he's done all the pipe work he's done the drain he's done the concrete he's done the block work he's finished it all off he's even fiberglassed it himself um, and then there's I mean there's just a few really cool things on this pond um, it's running on a Nexus 320 plus 55 watt UV um, it's got a, a blade going into it um, it's just he's done a fancy I mean this you know a lot of the the ponds are similar to this nowadays you know with the slate he's got a slate clad on it um, and it's got the window at the front and everything but he's done something cool put a half a roof on there and I'll show you what he's put up on top of it and he, you know he's just um, some really really good ideas um, the rest of the garden needs to be he's got all the slate in front of me there which is going to all be flagged around here so it's just going to look amazing when it's done so but anyway yeah let's get on to the video it does it looks really good I'm glad it's one of them ones that we dealt with last year and we've been in constant communication and doing helping him out making sure he's doing this right doing that right but he's, he's nailed it he's absolutely nailed it so it's been really good to come down with some fish and um, have a look at the pond again so anyway let's have a look right and here we are shower on there as well not that many fish in there at the moment he has he has got rid of a few recently and um, putting these in there's 11 going in today nice little toes iron um, one of the red carashes he's got the skimmer at the back wall there we'll have a look at the filters in a minute got the blade looking really well in there now the reason that he's had to put a roof on when I arrived before, there was these, which are for the seagulls, you know, to stop them landing on the pond, um, because obviously where they are, they're right near the sea, so it's, um, they have terrible problems. So he's put a roof on, um, and as you can see, he's planted it out upon the roof. You can see the um, them glass things, they're the insides of a washing machine part, and they just look brilliant. And it comes down there so like i said this is just slate clad uh, you should be able to find that most places and it goes around there got the ships ship like there and you've even got a lobster pot down there so but yeah it does it looks amazing another for a self build you know it's just fantastic but let's go and have a quick look in the filter house i just noticed something when i did walk in on the nexus to have a look how he'd done it and everything but um that's the slate as well that's all going to be done around the garden back there that was the old pond so he's gone from that to that amazing um now the nexus is running quite high um but I'll, I'll explain that in a minute let's just have a look what he's done first so this is around the back so this is all cladded as well looks really smart so we've got the pumps there now the pump that's running from the skimmer is, is going up to the blade and through another return so it's doing two so it's got the returns going back in and it's got what two returns on the pond um, but as you can see here you see that there right because he's running high on the nexus now i've just said to him now i love it when these nexuses run at this height you know you, you're getting the optimum out of them now the issue with that is that there's water's coming in here and it's going through there as a bypass and it's coming up here so there's going to be a bit of muck comes out of that so they've got this pipe here, right? Which is, it, you can adjust it, right? But I tell you, it's so hard to move. You know, you have to get real good grips on it and try and do it. But I've just said to him now, get a three inch um, rubber socket, put that over the top and you're fine, you're away. So that, that doesn't need to be um, used or messed with. So, but at the moment, I mean, even though the water's lovely, it's still letting some of the muck in di direct back through into there, which we don't want. So he's just gonna put another, he's gonna put a three inch piece on the top of that job's a good one if you can't if you can't wiggle it out anyway so it's got a 95 air tech running the nexus and the bottom drain and then we'll go around the other side because that's where the other the uv is on that, on that side door there but fantastic little job really good got the waste there let's have a look what he's running 
be running 75% on the skimmer, so that's on a 20,000 litre. And then on the Nexus, he's running 87, 88%, so virtually full, which is really good. But yeah, fantastic. I love seeing these jobs that we supplied the gear to and we've not really had anything else to do with it, but apart from a bit of advice on the phones and stuff like that and text, but you know, let's have a quick, the athletic side, let's have a look from up there. That's a really cool idea. I've never really seen that done before, especially on top of a koi pond. So it'd be look lovely when it's grown. So the blade is really running nice and fast. Now, obviously with any blade, you're always going to get water loss. If you look at the back, you'll see it's um, all wet. So you're going to get, you're going to lose water that way. You know, just not much, but you will lose a bit. Excuse me. So on here, got the Evo 55 what a lovely job and again this will all be slated up so it's going to look really slate when it's finished some of the new guys waiting to go in put them in now I'll just float them for a bit while I have a brew but yeah what a lovely job you can see he's just on the roof like that style. Do you like my little arty zoom there? All right, mate, let's get out. Not even mentioned on the video yet that Paul's with me. Wait. He'll get all the fans, he'll get all the women Wait. screaming at him now on the video. <laughs> yeah. We've got the Yamabuki, which you've already got a big one. Yeah. Nice Asagi, he Asagi. Yeah. Nice Goromo, Marasada, a nice Shintro Showa, big one. Mm. Nice Kahaku, yeah. little Goshki. This one? Yeah. There's another one, that, that's a shower, that, that's a he shower. Yeah, that, that's a, so it's got some white on it. This one's a pure heat Oh yeah, he's yeah. Really, look yeah. at that, that. Yeah, yeah. And then the, um, the one of the most sought after ones, the yeah, Tancho yeah. shower. Mm. Let me get that. Just tip, just tip it anywhere, just tip it anywhere. And then like I said to you before, this is the same age as the ones we've just put in. Red Karashis. This is going to eat you out of house and home. Is it? Yeah. the fishing Wayne's just reprimanded me now telling me that he um, when I said about the blade before he said it's fiberglassed all the way behind them um, that slate as well and he's all the way around the side of the pond there it's all fiberglassed behind the slate as well so he's not going to lose uh, he'll lose a bit from the splashing but nothing from the thing and then what he's going to do where you see the shower behind me um, that's all going to be that the shower's going to be moved inside the filter house and he's going to return the shower um, into the nexus and then he's going to block all that up 
again and slate it so it'll all look, look just one but it's still gonna have the shower on there but it's gonna be coming into the nexus um now i've just spoke to wayne as well and he was just telling me now that from start to finish including all the filters including all the the building materials the fiberglass the roof behind us the 75 square meters of seed that he's put on top of it for four meters for four square meters <laughs> um, so everything from everything that he's done on this pond has cost six and a half thousand pound um start to finish and that's 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 labor and you've done it all yourself anyway yeah. so that's everything yeah. isn't it that's and that's including the patio at the front where the pond is and everything like that so that's everything to, to finish it off really it's cost six and a half thousand pound that includes all the equipment from us everything the glass the everything so um it was nice enough to let me um share that fact with you guys um, i know you all like to know how much something will cost um but yeah so it's, it really is a good price considering that it's knocking on nearly three thousand gallons um he's done he you know he's done really like two pound just over two pound a gallon you can't beat that when you do it yourself guys you really can't so like I said, i'm sorry i'm not going to do an underwater shot i've still not got me gopro um or know how to use it um but yeah it's really messing my phone up when i'm going in the water so sorry about that but anyway um glad you have seen this today i'm really glad that i saw it as well because it's been a long time coming i keep seeing his updates on facebook and stuff and it's just been really good so hopefully we'll get down here again with some more fish at some stage but they all look good even got paul in the background there Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> none of them horrible weeds here at this pond so we're all right but anyway thanks for watching um and we will see you on the next one cheers guys